So, uh, John Doyle. John Doyle. John decided to make a video that we were all waiting for. Uh, he needed to, uh, uh, he needed to make a, a, a video about the N-word. And now, this is a situation where we can talk about it. And I saw Vosh talk about the same video that John Doyle's going to talk about here. Uh, and I agree with Vosh quite a bit. Um, for some reason, color me, color me suspicious... Uh, I'm actually going to uh, uh, not like John Doyle's take. Surprise, I'm probably not going to like John Doyle's take. He's probably going to fuck this up somehow. Surprised. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. There's probably going to be a way he talks about this. And, um... God. I don't know. Is he going to I have a black friend like... I have the pass in this, or what do you think, chat? I haven't seen this. What do you What do you do with? Oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's anyway. Anyway, let's let's. <laughs> think he's going to say the word. If he does, no, he this would be taken down already. Yeah, this would be taken down already. I don't think he's going to say it. Anyway, so uh. <laughs> it's go thirteen fifty the whole thing. I looked down and I saw thirteen minutes and I thought, oh no, it's only thirteen twenty two though. So anyway, I, John probably wants to say the n word, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Do you think John is capable of making a good video? Let's find out. A gamer's kamikaze. Okay, guys, everyone just calm down. Let's just take this one step at a time. I need you to understand that I understand that there's something inherently funny about a white conservative posting a video entitled The Truth About the N-Word, which is exactly why I did it. Now, that being said, I actually think I have some pretty reasonable takes on the N-Word, and so, you know, we should probably be talking about them since our country is such that simply saying the word when you're a teenager can ruin your life. And the point here is that most people would agree that you shouldn't be saying the N-Word, but if you're also going to tell me that we can't even talk about it, well, I'm going to take issue with that because there have been so many stories like the one that we're going to talk about today where things happen that are just simply not okay and that wouldn't happen in a serious country. And for those not familiar, basically this teenage girl got her driver's license back in 2016. Mm -hmm. She sent a video to a friend via Snapchat in which she said, I can drive, N-word. And then this miserable, effeminate little bitch held onto that video for years before releasing it to the mob so that she would have her life ruined. And she ended up being disinvited from her university where she would have been on their cheer team, which was a dream of hers. And so we will discuss as a young middle-class white man, the political implications of the N-word, how properly understood this type of outrage is just a virtue signal how white women are cringe and my okay. plan for how we can stop this type of stuff from happening in the future so do stay tuned okay i'm gonna skip his intro i think yeah i'm gonna skip his intro uh ew. so um the article in question was pretty pretty summarized there uh yeah there was a girl uh she was she got her it was about yeah 2016 right roughly um and uh, so it was, it was several years old. She was a teenager when she did it. She's now an adult. She applied for uh, college. Uh, a, a, a classmate um, uh, uh, released the video. She got disinvited from the school. Um, I agree that that's shitty. I think it's I think it's reasonable to have sort of a limitation on this, depending on the context, right? Um, it wasn't cool, obviously, but uh, I think I think we should go for more of a... This is my whole thing. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is my whole thing, man. Let's help people learn. Let's help people. Let's help people prog progress. Let's not be just purity people, right? Now that said, she said a bad shit that you're not supposed to say. There's no no one in the world is like defending that you can't say that or you can say that. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, it's not hard, but I, I'm not I'm not ready to I'm not ready to especially under capitalism. I am not ready to close off opportunities for people to seek education, especially in college, a place where that person could likely benefit quite a bunch from a getting out of 
hometown sort of more of a world view based on, you know, people that live in reality instead of her white suburban home or whatever the fuck it was. Um, and I also don't like the vindictive nature of holding on to that video where it, it also was like a celebratory moment where it wasn't like point, like it wasn't like, it was similar to when that white lady got pulled up on stage by Kendrick Lamar and then she said the N-word as part of the song. It was, it wasn't like, like, if this was like her going like, and calling someone a racial slur on social media or something, like, like I, that makes more sense to me. This was just ignorance. It wasn't hate. It, it, maybe she is hateful. I don't know. I have no idea. But that specific situation, making a TikTok or a, I think a Snapchat and then uh, uh, sending it to your friend and being like, I can drive, N-word. Am I willing to forgive that in the moment? No, that's a teaching moment. And you, you'd be like, hey, Michaela, or whatever the fuck your name is. Not fucking cool. Don't use that. But also, I'm not going to, like, ruin your life. For, you know what I mean? She was 15 at the time. Yeah. You, you know better, but you don't. You're also edgy when you're 15. Look, it's not a, it's someone who knows her came on Vosh's stream and explained that she's just an ignorant person who now is a supporter of BLM. Yeah, and so, like, like, ignorance is a thing that we can correct. Hate is a thing we don't, we don't allow in spaces. Ignorance, which this sounded like, I agree with John on that point. I totally agree. I agree with Vosh on this as well, and probably most people who have a take on this, if you hear about it, you're like, well, that's pretty fucked up. It's mostly fucked up, not on the kid that shared it, because there seems to be joint ignorance on both sides, because, you know, I, I'm not I'm not really for this whole, like, purity stuff. I don't know. You ever say something shitty before you learned it was shitty? Or you ever say something shitty before you realized, like, that there was more weight to it than you thought at the time? Or, or you just come up the other side and, and you were like, you know what? I think that was fucked up on my behalf. Definitely been there. Um, I don't really say the N-word ever, and I got mad. I, I wasn't really raised with that that much, but uh, I don't know. Uh, freaking out. While I was on vacation, my grandma tried to argue with me saying the N-word was okay because I liberally lose the word for... Oh, fuck off. Uh, like the two are the exactly the same that she went and said every slur she could think of and wondered why none of us want to speak to her for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's see, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. This doesn't seem like that situation. The kid held on to it for years. That's super spiteful. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I was almost a Nazi at 15. There's lots of you that were definitely shitty. What about the word bitch? It doesn't have nearly the weight. What are you talking about? Don't, don't what about another word. Because you said bitch, and you won't say the other word in my chat. Definitely not. Uh, like, come on. Um, I was a Nazi at, like, 17. This is what I'm talking about. Apply context. Apply rationality. Now, it... Again, um, it is uh, financially beneficial for a college to not do this, which is another reason you need to untie education from capitalism. <laughs> it just goes to show you. Uh, but I mean, like, we're not, you know, we're not here to help kids that say the N word get into school better, but um, we're also not here to, I don't know. I'm not willing to sell a teenager out for something they said because they're just stupid, you know what I mean? I was very, very racist against Latino, Latina people when I was 15, uh, tinged by my friends. Yeah. Dude, you just dead named me. What are you talking about? Bird. Who Good are call. you? Uh, m uh, Mr. Marty McNasty, thanks for the uh, four months, Maze B. Yeah. Exactly. That sounds terrible, Croge. Sounds fucking terrible. Um, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is a situation with teenagers. Anyway, let's let's go on. I'm sure he's gonna fuck this up somehow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Heck Off, Kami. I've decided to betray my former self. I have rejected the. I totally disagree with that, Mimi Willis. People held her accountable. There's accountability. Okay, so if Mimi Willis, if you've ever said anything shitty. Ever. Just anything even remotely shitty. We should we should take away financial avenues for you in under capitalism in the hope that you just figure it the fuck out. That's 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 not okay. That's not 
That's not what I deal with. If, if that's what you deal with, uh, how long have you been here? Six months? Eight months? No. Fucking, that's fine. That's fine. Someone else could use that eight months. Because that is a terrible mindset. That's a terrible mindset. Absolutely dog shit. Not for that. At all. She's a. She was just a dumb kid. You're allowed to be stupid. Oh, James. <laughs> I see James. I was like, I didn't address you at all. Yeah, it was a child. She was like 15 years old. Like, like, 15 year olds are edgy and dumb. You can hold them to account it at the moment, at the moment it happens, and moving forward, you can hold her to account for her words. You, and you could be like, you could address that. You could be like, hey, that's fucking we no. She's apparently learned that lesson since she's been 15. Is an active supporter of BLM and had. I don't know, has shitty things happened because of that. That's not okay. We're not here for... I don't... How can you be for restorative justice and then also desire punitive justice for other people that just say bad stuff? Stop it. Stop. Stop it. <coughs> we want people to be reformed. We want people to learn better. We don't want people to just be fucking punished for the point of it. For the, for the fucking, like... For the fucking like, just 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 the the some sort of cosmic justice. Fuck cosmic justice. I want to live in a world where people are kind to each other. It, does she learn kindness from that? Is is kindness learned from that moment? No. If you're an adult with a business or something, and then you go out and do that, okay, you've had time to learn that. That's fine. In context, not cool. If you strip it of context, sure, whatever. Fuck it. Like like John Doyle, for instance. John Doyle, for instance, I would not be surprised if John Doyle, due to the content that he makes constantly, would be denied college admission in certain places. Definitely. He'd be fine at liberty. You know what I mean? And that's okay because this is this is current. This is now. Four years from now, if John Doyle changes his attitude, becomes a leftist or whatever, or just isn't a racist piece of shit, if he's just like, you know what, I'm, I feel a little bit better I'm a little bit better guy. I've learned some things. I'm more of a centrist, liberal, you know, neocon, whatever. Whatever you got going on, neoliberal, whatever. Uh, and, and, and you know, I'm going to move away from some of the hateful shit. I'm not going to hold... I, I'm, I'm going to celebrate John Doyle learning. As much damage as he's done. You, 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 what are we fucking fighting for, then? If you are not willing to give people room to grow... If you're not willing to give people room to grow, what the fuck are you advocating for? What the fuck are you advocating for? There are people in this chat that were Nazis. People in this chat right now, Hunter Avalon's a great example. People in this chat right now that were racist. People in this chat right now that were transphobic and homophobic. They've changed. Just because you only see the good part of them doesn't mean the bad part never existed. You need to offer... If you don't have the bandwidth to allow someone to change in over the course of four years, then what the fuck is your pro... What, why are you here? I'm not talking to Mimi right now. I'm talking to everybody. Like, there's no point... There's no point in advocacy for anything. I want the world to be a better place. Okay, that will take people that are bad becoming good. It will literally take that. Unless your thought is they just disappear. They don't disappear. Their minds have to be changed. Anyway. Chad is cool with me being a Nazi years ago. They better extend the same kindness to everyone. That's exactly it. Exactly. I was literally far right. Exactly. Lots of people were. And I'm sure that Mimi was shitty at some point because all kids are shitty at some point. There's no way, there's nothing you've ever said that if you said it in my chat today wouldn't get you banned. There's just no way. Hey, I believe that. Hey, you're not wrong about this. White folks didn't support Black Lives Matter until June. I don't believe she only used the N-word that one time. Uh, and that school, uh, I don't agree, agree with this last part. And that school didn't address racism at all. Uh, okay, so I agree with you that it became trendy for white liberals to agree with Black Lives Matter in June. I agree with that. Uh, I don't believe she only used the N-word that one time. Absolutely not, obviously. Of course not. She was clearly, like, it's clearly this, this, the, the, 
crossover of 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 what you know she she's she's a teenager rap exists it the word is used a lot kids in insulated white neighborhoods think they can say it too and they do so it didn't seem like a hateful act but i definitely agree with you that it was normalized for her it seems to be the case that it, it she's learned that it's not normal to do that and then she's been checked on that and even if she wasn't this is not the way to go about it like what I grew up with liberal parents and even went through a chud phase in college after some someone abused me. Exactly. We have to give people room to grow. And, and going after their ability to, like, have... This is not class solidarity. This is, <laughs> this is retributive bullshit. This is, not, this is not constructive at all. You can address someone's bullshit without, without taking avenues from them when they also have to survive in capitalism. Like, I don't know where she went. She's probably fine. Like, don't get me wrong. This probably wasn't her only option, and she's probably okay. But that's not the case for everybody. And you, we have to make sure we understand this shit. I used to have a community of people that would do that kind of shit in this community. I got mad at them, told them to fuck off. They tried to do it to me. So I did a fucking 11-hour stream debunking every goddamn thing they ever did. Same shit all the time. It's just fucking it's just fucking people that want to feel good about themselves. It's just another form of 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 like this tribal bullshit that people go through. They're borderline tankies, man. Uh hey Jake, just joined Happy New Year. How's things going in Georgia? Been away from the politics for a while. Looks like they're going well. Uh, we need to do a better job at teaching people how these words hurt people and how they're different from normal course words. Hundred percent true, hundred percent true. But teaching them that is not the way. Like you don't, you don't. I don't know. You don't go after someone's education. Like we want that person to experience education. That's the thing that's gonna help. Uh, I used to be super transphobic. Turns out what it was me externalizing my internal transphobia and I working towards getting cross-sex hormones and a gender. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people internalize that. That's why a lot of homophobia stems from internalized homophobia. Um, um, uh, I mean, yeah, a lot of people internalize um, a lot of things uh, that leads to bigotry, 100%. Um, those two so-called – and there was like 10 of them. Uh, but I had the, the, some of them were mods in it, and it was like, yeah. So I had to, I had to fucking, I, I literally had to just, uh, yeah. She wasn't very smart. Yeah, I figured she wasn't very smart, and that's okay. She's a chill ch child at fifteen. Fifteen year olds are dumb. Yeah, the mods are are stupid now. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want change or do you want revenge? Right. If you want revenge, gotta tell you, this chat's probably not for you right now. But guess what? I want you to stick around so you can learn. <laughs> we can't, we, we literally, we literally can't be doing this. Like I get better every day by listening to you guys. Every day I am made better by reading what you write to me and, and, and learning a new perspective from a new person that has a new lived experience. That's the only way you do it. It's not going to be, uh, how am I going to get better if you are just like, oh, Jake, you said... I don't know. Like, I accidentally misgender someone who can't, can, Flever, can I even misgender you? Is that even a thing? I thought any all, right? I know they, them. I use they, them for you. Can you be, yeah, I can't misgender you. So, so let's say, so I'm going to pick on you because it doesn't hurt your feelings right now. So say I said, say I called Flever he, and Flever is like, nope, that's, that's, I can't do it. Right? Uh, like, and I go, oh, I thought it was he. And then it felt, it sounds like I'm doubling down. But I'm not. I just don't understand how dead naming works. I do, personally. But I mean, like, if that was the situation, you would want me to learn. You wouldn't want to just fucking be like, well, canceled. You're fucking done. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't help anybody. I'm still having a platform. I'm still telling people. And I might do it again in the future, not understanding why it's bad. If you take my livelihood, do you think it's going to make me m more or less likely to, to, to enjoy... Like, the discourse around that topic, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just nuts. Uh, you were literally part of me going to the left based on logic and how the Bible is full of problems. Thank you, Void. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it is. Uh, Midikai. I honestly used to be one of those gay guys that wouldn't care too much about the struggles of trans people. That was way back in like, when I was, like, 20 years old. Uh, but through years, it's all the horrible things people were doing. Them. Yeah. And then you find out intersectionality is a thing, and it's just like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, first T... 
First TBR helped me lose my faith, and then actual Jake Stream helped me lose my chuddiness. Uh, thank you for all you do. Education is so important. Changing minds. I wasn't evil. I didn't know. Exactly. Cornhole Blaster. Thanks for the 100 biddies as well. This is what I want. And if and if you're still like, fuck this girl. She deserves to get her college admission dropped. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me talk about this. You could still disagree. I want you to hear me, though. You know what I mean? Like, listen to the words. Because your emotion about, like, if you are if you happen to be black and, 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 and you're genuinely offended by her saying, I can, what'd she say to her friend? Something stupid. I, I can drive, oh, she got her license. I can drive now, N-word. Um, um, you know, not in a hateful way, in a, in a, in an ig very ignorant way. If that genuinely upsets you, you're hundred percent valid. I'm not going to take that away from you at all. Obviously not a hundred percent. Um, but obviously, first of all, that wasn't targeted at a person. That was just obvious ignorance, which, which takes it down a peg from, you know, someone that would do it intentionally to hurt someone's feelings. Right? Like intent is Her super important is to me. Uh, if it was with malice, okay, I'm still not for it. I'm still not for, for, for total cancellation here. Now I have to see how the behavior is today. What's your behavior like today, knowing that you used to be like this? Because, again, there's people in this chat right now that have used that word with malice at people of color. But they're, they're, they've learned and they've changed their minds and it's not because they were kicked out of communities. It's because they were they were allowed into communities like mine, like others. And that's the point. Like, there's some people that are unreachable. Like, I'm not having Mitch McConnell over for dinner. He's fucking dead to me. You know what I'm saying? Zoe TV head, thanks for following him. Pro, uh, uh, Proletarian J, also thanks for following. But especially when people are younger or people even, I mean, you, have, you could change at any time. If Mitch McConnell, okay, I said he was dead to me. Actually, he's not. If Mitch McConnell, in over the course of the next two years, decides he has some sort of epiphany and he starts being for Medicare for all and he starts being uh, pro-trans, like, just, just assume he's the best goddamn ally in the whole world. It's not happening. But just assume that happened. I would buy that man a little turtle sweater and give him a hug and be like, hey, you were shitty. Let's talk about that. Why were you shitty? What What do you think led to that? That'd be fan fantastic. Fuck Mitch McConnell, though. Mitch McConnell's trash. Anyway, let's get in this, vi th this video a little bit more. It'll probably come up. I'm still calling. I think I think he's going to say he has a black friend. I still think he's going to... Mitch McConnell died in 1998. God damn it. Um... Her ramble was just yeah, and then education not seen as a right. Yes, I totally agree with you. Uh, Kyra Hydra. I, uh, don't feel sorry for her. The N-word... Wait, what's that? Uh, the N-word is an old and least nuanced thing we have to put up with all the time. Is ex It's exhausting. I ain't jump for joy either, but I don't live in her community. Uh, well, sure. I'm not saying I feel sorry for her. I'm saying it's unethical to do that. And the behavior should not be exacerbated. Like we should not be engaging in that behavior. I'm not. I don't like. Really, I don't like feel bad for the girl. There's there's a difference between that and understanding like reasonable ethical actions that we should take as a group of people that it tend to politically agree on things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, two three years ago, I was listening to Milo and Sargon supporting Trump and being a chud. I grew up in a place where racism was just casual. People talking with me broke me away from that shit. Hundred uh, percent. Part of this is also that America. Oh, I read that. Yeah, American education should be seen as a right. I agree. I forget about that. TBR helped me lose my faith, but your stream and Hannah helped me get rid of my chudness. Hell yeah. Anyway. This was a John Doyle video. Here we go. Keeping going. It's a good conversation, though. I appreciate it. White men's focus on keeping a schedule, and for that reason, the much-anticipated anti-pornography dissertation is being pushed back a little bit yet again, and it's literally just because the more I've hyped it up, the more I realize that it has to be perfect, and so when it's perfect, it will be released. There's still a lot of research left to incorporate, plus I've been busy with Christmas, planning the Texas move, Zippy Bird, thanks for following. new studio, etc. So, you know, part of me wants to apologize for the delay, but the other part of me is inclined to think that if you're mad at me, it's just because you have a hard time delaying gratification. I really like the fact that uh, he's going to make an anti-porn video. Um, oh, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. 
Mm -mm -mm. I'm not seeing that many people. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. Uh, expected to forgive these N-word Andes and move on while we are bombarded with bullshit day. I'm not saying forgive that. I have never told you to forgive that person. What you should be considering is how racism exists, right? Racism exists in ignorance bubbles. It's literally ignorance. It exacerbates itself into hate at certain points, but it's it it begins is is ignorance. This is this is Please stay out of Texas. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, so, again, you need to apply lefty ethics, like your own ethics that you apply anyways, to the conversation. See if it's see if it's reasonable. Gunner Jens, thanks for following. Like, again, like the conversations about about prisons and how we do that. It's not reformative. We don't people don't go in there to learn how to be better people. People don't go in there to learn anything. They go in there to be punished for a certain amount of time we've determined the punishment should be. And then they're released without any application of anything. Like, sometimes. That's why recidivism is so high. Do you think that a racist person who just gets yelled at for being a racist person when they're a child, and then they find out that, like, like you know, retributive action is going to be taken again after long after they have done the thing? Like, it just doesn't—it's not productive, you get to be mad. You get to not associate with that person. You don't even have to advocate for that person. But what we shouldn't be advocating for is the retributive aspect of it. Everything else, fuck that person. You don't have to let them into your community. You don't have to interact with them. You don't have to support their GoFundMes. You don't have to do anything. But understand that there's solidarity between us and another person when they're seeking education and they're trying to better them. Like, there has to be a limit to the amount of, like, fuck you, right? It just depends on the context of it. In this context, yes, it's frustrating. Of course it's bad. But it's like... I don't know. It's it's like... Like if this was a different situation. We're, we'll call it not racism, but we'll call it something, something definitely bad. Like, um... Like uh, a 15-year-old boy inappropriately touching a classmate or something. Whether they're a girl, boy, whatever, it doesn't matter. Inappropriately touching another classmate. Maybe they grab their ass or they grab their junk or something. That's not okay, obviously. That is also not behavior that we need to just let sit idly. What we need to do is you can take direct action in the moment, right? But I'm not punishing you four years from now for something you did four years ago, unless it's a, uh, more serious than, than what I was talking about, like a rape or something. You need to, in the time when that happens, that's the time where education begins. You can take action and, and punish that person, requisite to whatever is necessary, totally fine. But a, but a person that experiences like like someone, you know... You did a sexual assault, you just get in trouble, and then you're, you're released whenever that punishment is over. That person is likely to just do it again. That's not okay. That's not safe. It's not safe for communities that have that person in it. We don't want that to happen. Similarly, with racism, you don't want that person to just go, ah, fuck it, and, and not learn, and not learn why. The why is super important. Like, like, yeah, if they weren't punished for it and then are uh, recalcitrant, sure, absolutely. And again, again... Here's the thing. The person that did that thing doesn't have to be involved in your communities. The person that did that thing doesn't have to have any sort of forgiveness from you at all. Especially if you're the victim of that person. Absolutely not. But the point is that while you don't have to have them in your communities, you shouldn't. we shouldn't be going after shit that isn't connected to the problem. Right? Like, her pursuing education is not going to exacerbate any racist things she said. It probably would help. Why are we stopping the illumination of a person? Like, specifically in this case, it's literally education. I could understand if you're like, uh, that person's running for office, 
and they're a little touchy-feely. Okay, that makes sense. You don't want someone with, with, with shitty ethics doing that. I could also understand if she was running for office or something. And you're like, well, you said this. Have her, keep her to task. Have a conversation about it. But just, just punishment is like not productive. I don't know. Prisons don't want to... Oh, yeah. And and this does... This does literally... This literally does apply to prisons and how we deal with it. And if you think it's okay outside of prison but not inside of prison, you really need to consider the difference. All right. And retributive active action, I agree, Britannia, does send people straight to alt-right spaces. I talked about this when we talked about the, the Milo thing back in the day. Um... Of course, yeah, exactly. That's why I said Rose Splitter. I, I agree with that. If he had released the clip at the time she did it, that's that's the appropriate time to do that. I don't know when it is inappropriate, but I know four years is inappropriate. Yeah. Do jails reform them? No. Prisons, jails, all of that. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's not reformative. <laughs> Just because you don't want to go back doesn't mean you, like, <laughs> the self-reflection was on your own behalf. It wasn't something that jail or prison taught you it was something that you discovered because of it like it's not like punishment doesn't work for some people but it's not constructive it's not constructive at all restorative justice is what's ethical like and that's the way to combat racism trust me i'm a white guy i've experienced white people being casually racist I can assure you the way to reach them is to talk to them and explain the reasons why that's fucked up. Like, if some of you aren't white and you don't live in white spaces, you don't know what I'm talking about. White people, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. The, uh, especially from your older, older uh, family members. Some of you had other, other uh, uh, stories. But like, but like, there's really casual racism Especially once you hit about middle class. Whew. Really happens. I mean, poor communities, too, in some white spaces, if they're not integrated. Absolutely. Like, if they're just like, that's a white place. Um, rural places, absolutely like that. It's very casual. But when you bring it up to them, they they usually are just ignorant. It's not usually hate. Sometimes it's hate. And those people aren't aren't like, you know... <laughs> You're probably you're probably not gonna get it. I, mean, I know black people do it too. I'm saying I'm saying the the really you know white people we're doing we're doing it at mar marginalized communities. You know what I'm saying? Um, then that's that's a problem. Um, do you think there's a limit to restorative justice? Well, of course, absolutely. Like Hitler or Stalin? I mean, <laughs> there's probably not enough bandwidth in in the society to help people like those extreme examples. True. Um, but like, but like, it's definitely, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's, there, there's less extreme examples that we're talking about, right? Restorative, like, like actual education, restorative justice is a very different concept to, can we fix Hitler? No, probably not. Like, but like, it doesn't mean that someone shouldn't sit down with Hitler and be like, you know what? This is a little racist, and here's why. Maybe it would have helped. Probably not, though. There's some people that are just too far gone. Like, you know what I mean. Some people. But, like, not kids. Certainly not kids. I think the word white followed by the word trash should be a slur and should not be used. It's very classist. It's not necessarily racist. And I tend to agree with you. I use it from time to time, though. It's my word. Uh, now I have gifted one gifted t subs to Jake and Hannah. Thanks, alt wrong anon. Did I not catch it? Uh, am I trash? Or is it not done processing yet? No. No, I'm going to receive two gifts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Definitely happens here. Yeah, it's just casual racism. Permeates where I live for context. I live in upper middle class suburban neighbor neighborhood. Like, POC are just branded as criminals where I live. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of those people can be fixed by a conversation. Like, a genuine conversation. Someone you that respects you and you have respect for them and, like, you know, you have rapport. Like, you can't just bring it up to your fucking neighbor. But, um, 
unless you're close to them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, like this is this is a situation where communities need to work on ignorance. Anyway, let's let's continue to move. Let's continue to move. This this topic could go for four hours. <laughs> Because of low impulse control, because you watch pornography. So you should have just listened to me last year. I don't know. That's a joke. We'll get it out shortly. But it's also New Year's Eve. It's the end of the year. I want to have some fun. I want to go out with a bang. And what better way to do that yeah, than by literally making it. a video about the N-word? And again, as weird as it sounds, it's actually a political issue. Because by definition, anything that makes a claim about how society should function is political. I work for supporting indigenous students. The amount of casual accidental racism is stunning. Education is key. And since there are people who celebrate when other people have their lives ruined for simply saying a word, we should probably talk about it. But I don't think that anyone else has the balls to talk about it. And so Literally right fucking here, John. He blocked me, though. So here we are. And by the way, if simply talking about the N-word, like not even saying it, but just talking about it, if that makes you uncomfortable or you don't think that we should be doing that, you're a coward. Oof. Okay. That's different, though. I hear here he fucked it up already. He fucked it up. Uh uh no 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 no. People get to be uncomfortable. That's fine. Uh if you're made uncomfortable by content, uh, it is on you to shut it off. Uh you can also ask, but it's unlikely that you're going to be received by uh uh the person talking about it uh in a positive way if it's a stream situation like this or a video situation like that. Um the cuz you know, it was agreed upon kind of like the whole thing. Uh, has his sandwich making skill gone on recently? He's, he's moving. Um, yeah. So if you're, if you're, you get to, I don't know why there's so many, there's so many conservative dudes and, and now women as well, but conservative dudes are the worst ones. Uh, they're just like, feelings are bad. You can't have them. You can feel uncomfortable. That's totally fine. Good night, Migu. Uh, like your feelings are always valid. The, the reasons sometimes like... For instance, if you're having a panic attack and you have anxiety, the feeling of the panic attack, that is valid. Feeling it is valid. You are experiencing it. It's real. You are really experiencing it. Now, if it was onset by something that you understand is not reasonable to panic about, you can understand why that the trigger to it might not be like reasonable, but it's but the validity is different than reasonability, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if it just upsets you, that's fine. If we can understand that it might not be reasonable to do something, that's fine. Racism isn't one of those things where, you, oh, it's unreasonable that you're mad. You know what I mean? There's situations where that might happen, but like, oof, unlikely. Unless you're white. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, there's lots of people, uh, depression is like this. Uh, you feel bad for feeling bad? Same, same, same sort of thing here. Same sort of thing. Her ramble was just a gorilla. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Write your own. Streaming, bro. Boink. Uh. Sorry. Arian just tried to call me on my phone. Um. White people won't be. Uh. 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 <laughs> How do I overcome white guilt? Oh, I don't have it, so I don't know. I don't I don't I don't understand how that feels. Like there's a big difference between There's a big difference between like <laughs> understanding racism exists and and feeling bad for being white like why like what like i i don't understand i don't understand why you would feel bad for being white feel bad for for like you know <laughs> oh i i you're the first person i met that actually has said i feel white guilt i've never uh i've i've never actually experience that so um yeah no it's about actions it's it's not about your being white that's fine um did you know you have no control over your biology it's like being upset it's like feeling guilt for being gay it's 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 intrinsic to your existence you don't have to there's no reason to feel guilt for the way you look or the way you are intrinsically in any way whatsoever anything that is 
basic to your existence. Never feel guilt about that. Um, the guilt that may that you may feel may be things that you have done in the past or experienced. That's that's fine, but that's not white guilt. That's just guilt. Right. So so. I feel frustrated by the privilege I have compared to PSC. Um, uh, I don't. I, but but but, because I. <laughs> I feel frustration. I don't feel frustration for my privilege. I feel frustration that that because privilege isn't something you get when we talk about it in societal thing. It's not something that was given to me. It's something that was taken from someone else. You know what I mean? Like like my my privilege, insofar as my race is concerned, is not is not granted to me by society. It's the default right now because we were colonizing and uh, people that look like me colonized. And, uh, and, and then that same basic intrinsic human acceptance was taken from, from minority groups, uh, whether that's race or otherwise. Uh, right now we're talking about race though. So uh, like, you know, it's not a thing you have that they don't. It's something that we both have that was stripped. I don't know how to say that anymore, but um, um, it's so so feeling guilt about that. And I know that's not, not what you said, but it, just tying back to the other guy, uh, it was like I have white guilt. You shouldn't feel guilt for being who you are ever in any situation. And I know that's easier said than done, uh, especially if you're Catholic. Uh, what you should feel guilt for, um, and not even like I don't I, I don't necessarily want you to like fucking self loathe and be like ah and I flagellate yourself. No, if you've ever participated. In racism, uh, that's a thing that you can correct and understand, okay? Boom. Easy. Uh, if you've ever participated in uh, casual racism, which is different than just racism, racism, uh, same thing. Uh, uh, microaggressions, uh, which are things like crossing the street when you see a black guy, uh, holding your purse closer or some shit, uh, assuming guilt when there is none, when you see like a, like a Mexican criminal or something like that. Um, there's people that we've been socialized to to think in a inherently negative way from a white perspective because uh, racism. Um, what you should feel guilt for is uh, is when you are complicit in racism. Maybe not you're exactly the person doing it, but complicit in it. So you hear a racist joke and you laugh. That's complicity. Um, uh, stuff like that. Just anything like that. You can feel guilt over that. Don't let it rack your brain in guilt. Like there's literally nothing you could do. Because it just feels, excuse me. It feels performative. And that's not what it's about. Thanks, Cloud, if you're following, by the way. I didn't, sh I didn't shut you out. Uh, it's, it's, it's not about performing not racism. It's about actively not being racist and actively dissuading it from your community and groups that, in, in your spaces, right? If you're doing that, you have nothing to feel guilty about. If you, are, if you don't tolerate it, if you, if you talk about it honestly with people that uh, can use some education on it, you have nothing at all to feel guilt about. At all. So. Yeah. Metal detected for the race and I felt guilt. Yeah. Feel guilt for just being alive most days. So it's probably just guilt in general. I mean, that that's probably therapy. You probably need therapy. Um and I'm not saying that in a in a in a in a shitty way. I mean, genuinely therapy is super helpful for people. And um uh uh and it might be something worth exploring. Uh, I don't know what background you come from, but uh, usually people that come from religious backgrounds uh, have that. Depression can play a role. Uh, social anxieties can play a role. Uh, what if I cross the street when I see anyone? Uh, well, then you're not being prejudicial. You're being paranoid, in which case... Her ramble was just a gorilla. That was well-timed. Her ramble was just a gorilla. Just remember that. Ligma Bowls. Thanks for following. Well-timed. Uh, in which case, you should you should... Uh, probably seek, uh, 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 you know, therapy. You know what I'm saying? And therapy for religious trauma? Exactly, Sherman. See? I sussed you out. Uh, bring bring up your guilt. Bring up your guilt for, for, with your therapist. Bring up the fact that you feel guilt like that. Seriously, it'll help. Promise. As a black man, I don't want people to feel white guilt, but I want them to help me fight racist. 100%. Exactly. Exactly. And that's basically what I said. You just said it quicker. Don't be so efficient in my chat, damn it. 
you're a coward and the mob isn't going to spare you. Even if you're a part of it, even if you agree with them, they'll get you too eventually. But before we get started, I just kind of have to establish myself a little bit here. Obviously, we have lots of black fans in the audience. Obviously, I've been given several dozen N-word passes throughout my life, but I just... I can't believe he actually fucking said he got it. I have an N-word pass. That's not a thing! Just wanted to bring in someone to answer some questions before we dive into this. And I was going to introduce him with his credentials, but apparently all that matters to these people is literally just that he's a black guy. So, take a look. Donnie, thank you. Wait, 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 wait! He literally did I have a black friend! <laughs> oh no, bro! Oh no! <laughs> the MAGA hat is off, boys. Yes, it is. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Alright. Okay, let's do it. Donnie is like 13 years old. What the fuck is going on here? All right. You literally said he was going to. Why are you surprised? I haven't seen this video. I didn't know he was going to. I just said, wouldn't I bet he's going to. You know what I mean? God damn it. This is, oh, Jesus. This is probably going to be bad. This is probably going to be bad. Uh, someone says the N word in a video. Can you stream get banned? Uh, no, not really. Well, if I celebrate it and stuff, if I'm not trying. It. So how it works is if I'm not trying to mitigate that kind of thing, then yeah, obviously. But like if someone gives me a donation and they figure out a way to say a racial slur in it, uh, it's not going to ban me. It's just like I'll just ban that person and change the 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 parameters for the donations and I'm fine. Yeah. yeah, this is probably fucking terrible. Okay, let's do it. Thank you so much for being here with us today as we sort of explore. Yeah, IDubs definitely said the word a lot. Explore this topic. I did want to get your input on a few questions before we move forward. Um, if at any point you feel as though the questions are, are too invasive, they're inappropriate, you don't feel comfortable answering, just please let me know. Totally at your discretion. Um, so the first question, uh, is it true that we ended racism? Donnie, if you say yes, bro, if you fucking say yes. Yes. Ah! I was rooting for you. Donnie. Donnie. God damn it. God damn it, Donnie. Son of a bitch, Don. Fuck me. In the <laughs> All right. <laughs> in a delicate conversation about an extreme racial slur... He asked confidently, is racism defeated? <laughs> okay. Uh, what you don't see is that John is holding a gun just out of frame. We did it, boys. Racism is no more. True. God fucking damn it, Donnie. All right. You watch too much John. Come on over here, Donnie. God damn it. All right. Okay. Am I racist no i really fucking dig donnie's uh hoodie though like a lot really big fan of it so i got that uh miami neon sign thing going on uh okay so <laughs> okay is it possible for me to be racist no <laughs> what <laughs> wait wait oh oh I, oh oh okay all right, so it's not possible to be racist? What does that even fucking mean? Okay. Who is less racist than me? That's a trick question. There's, there's no one less racist than you. This is a bit, right? This is just a bit? This is a joke bit? Interesting, okay. This Are is, the people who... This is just a, like a ha-ha... This is like a faha, funny haha, -ha, right? Call me racist. Are they just projecting their racism onto me? Oh, yes. But you just said racism didn't exist, Donald. You just said racism didn't exist. This has got to be a bit. This has got to be a dumb, dumb bit. Okay. Last question, Donnie. Who are the real racists? The Democrats. Wow. Yeah, it's it's 
Okay. Jokes are supposed to be funny? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. The Democrats are the real racists. That's incredible. Donnie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Very epic. We've got the green light. So we'll go through the story first and I'll kind of interject my takes as we go through it. But first, I'll give you my general take on the N-word. Oh, boy. And I've always felt this way about it, which is that I don't think that people should say it. I just I really don't think that people should say it. And that's just because it's a gross word. So I'm sorry to disappoint you if you thought that I was going to say it in this video. But I just I don't think that people should say the N word or the C word, because the former is a word that existed to extremely degrade human beings. And it's eternally symbolic of that. And the latter is a word that degrades the thing that creates human life. <laughs> I just think that's wrong too. But the reason that this is important to just Donnie blink twice if your life is in danger. I lit I look, he went into his Discord and he said, I need a black person for a bit. I guarantee you it was very close to that. Uh he says right after degrading a human being. I know, right? discusses because the commonly held belief is that you can only say the n-word if you're black which in practice means that you can only say it if you're not white because for some reason other minority groups can say it with impunity that's not true impunity that is not too too true gamer t1000 thanks for following you'll like it here uh i need a bunch jesus yeah uh 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 so yeah you can say it if you're black yes and it's usually very different. It's a recaptured sort of situation. If you watch Sundays, you will experience uh, quite a bit of it. Quite a bit of it. Not for me. Uh, from my my friend Arian, who is a black man, uh, who's uh, like <sighs> we've had this discussion before, because I've said because <laughs> he called his dog. <laughs> he was like. Hey, bro. Only he didn't say bro. Hey, bro. What are you doing? And I just thought it was fucking super hilarious. He said, hey, my bro, basically. And I was like, I was like, I'm just, I'm cackling. I'm like, God, I am so fucking white. Like, it's just it's super funny to me. And, uh, and then, and then so we, uh, we had to talk about it. But, uh, uh, I, he, he agreed with me. Uh, he, he wasn't too keen on like, like Asian dudes saying it. Um, but he did. We did watch this video. Uh, you know that little kid that um, that little kid. Uh, he's definitely a white kid, and he's he's like doing like a like a video of himself. I don't know if it was TikTok or just a Twitter thing or something. And and, and he's like shouting to somebody. He's like, "Hey man, from the block, whatever." I don't even know how to say. It. I'm too Caucasian for it. But he lives in that place. And Arian was like, "You know what? White people that talk like that when they actually live there isn't a big deal to me." Like, that's just part of his culture. That's the way he talks is his vernacular. And I was like, that's really fascinating because it really rubs me the wrong fucking way as a white guy. But it's not up to me. Um, yeah. I can't even repeat it. I don't even know what, he, I don't even know what the kid said. It's not, it's not part of my lexicon. I am incredibly white. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't like it when some people are okay with, with uh, uh, his, like, uh, like, you see guys from – I had a big Mexican population in my school, like, from Mexico, um, uh, because we have a lot of Mexico season – Mexico? Mexican seasonal workers uh, in the rural areas out there. Um, um, and so my school, like, it was white, then it was Mexican, and we had, like, two black kids. Um, and the Mexican kids used to say it, and I used to think that's probably not okay. Mexico. Um Yeah. Well, I don't think it's thug life. Like, like, like there's, there's a difference between, um, it's called AAV, right? Uh, and, 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 and like the thug stuff. Like that's, that's sort of a white people way to look at that. In my opinion. Uh, I feel for those black kids. I was only black kid in class from grade seven to three. Uh, yeah, that was, that was interesting. Cause he had a, he had a couple white kids, uh, uh, it was really funny. He was a tall black kid too. So get... <laughs> the 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 basketball coach was like, uh, "So when are you joining the basketball team?" <laughs> he wasn't very good at basketball. He played basketball. He wasn't very good at it. It was just, uh, um, 
Add American into the spice might be the secret ingredient. Oh, boy. Yeah, African-American vernacular English. Yes, A-A-V-E. Yes. Yeah. Although Arian called it Ebonics the other day. I don't think that's accurate, but that's what he called it. <laughs> does that, does someone someone think that that's accurate? I I, I kind of disagree. I think it's a different thing, but. Yeah, I, I feel like that's – is that racist? I feel like it is, right? The word sucked. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought too. He called it that though. And I was like, mm, was that what we call that? Yeah. I say A-A-V-E. That's what my mom called it? Well, quite surprising. And maybe they'll say, well, this is because white people uh, enslaved black people, which is true. But, you know, they were also enslaved by Hispanics. But oh, my God. But also, no, it was pretty much just fucking white people, dude. Sure. A little bit. But like, come on. Stop it. Stop. I hate. I hate. I hate when we 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 uh, when white people are like, uh, but we shirk a little bit of that responsibility. No, dude. Own it. White people bought them from blacks who were already enslaving them. Like, the history kind of makes this complicated, but it's I not that complicated. Get it, you know? I don't even think it matters that much. Like, when we're talking about, well, who gets to say the N word? And it's like, who cares? The way I see it is that the word has a special connotation with black Americans that white Americans just don't understand because, as much as we'd like to reject identity politics, it's simply a fact that the average black person and the average white person have completely different experiences in this country. And I'm not talking about racism. I'm talking about culture. Oh, my fucking God. Did you know part of it is racism? <sighs> I hate when people say that, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he being smart? No, 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 no. He almost was smart, but then he did dumb dumb. <laughs> Culture. And so in practice, black people use the N-word as an endearing term given their history and perceivably shared experience in this country, kind of like how, you know, Marines will call each other jarheads, which of course isn't as bad, but the principle is basically the same. Like, hey, let's take this negative and embrace it into a positive. I get that. I still don't think it's good, but am I really going to tell black people that they shouldn't say this word that is so central to their culture? No, no. Holy shit. It's very close. I don't like hearing black people calling themselves that as though it's empowering the same way I don't like hearing women call themselves bitches and whores as though that's empowering, which is ironically a consequence of black pop culture, which we'll talk more about in a second. But the point is that legally speaking, can you say the N word? Yes. Should you say the N word? I don't see a reason why anyone should. And this might sound weird, but the only reason that white people are even saying the N word anymore. I'm down with that. More is because of black people. Ah! No, it's not. It's not. Is he going <laughs> to... He's so close, and then he just fucks it up. By the way, black people, you're the problem. What the fuck, John? No, he's going to say, like, hip-hop and rap has popularized the usage of the word in, in common parlance. That's just not how it works. That is not the only situation in which people are called that. I've, I mean, literally look up the word on Twitter. Try it. I'm not going to do it. You go do it. And and you're going to see disgusting shit the whole time. And it's going to be white people doing it. Almost, almost for sure. Uh, Bales of Bus, thanks for giving one to uh, Twenton. Uh, appreciate it. It's, this is, that's so fucking brain dead, John. Her was just a gorilla. Thanks for following a, uh, a, AZ Socialist, so Arizona Socialist maybe. Look up what, Jake? I missed it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because black people dominate pop culture, especially music. See? What I tell you? Which they always have, especially considering how they influence rock music. That's actually my take on control of the music industry. I think that white people dominated music throughout the latter half of the 20th century. And then when rap music started to become more popular in the mid 2000s, white people got really sad. And that's why we started making the like edgy emo rock music. And then rap music became the most what? popular and white people didn't know what to do. What? And I think that when we came back with dubstep in the early 2010s, that was like the musical equivalent of just yourself after you die, you know? Like, you can laugh, but that's accurate. Dubstep, that was like, that was our Hail Mary, but... Was this all for a dubstep joke? Was that what that is? That's so stupid. By the way, by the way, totally erasing uh, the history of black music, which uh, has roots in, uh, uh, <laughs> like, 
Like, literally, if you listen to, like, country music, you're listening to pretty much black music. Uh, like, anything with any bluesiness. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Like, there's so many black artists. Like, who do you think of when I say, uh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog? You think of Elvis, most likely. Stole it from a black lady. You know what I mean? And that's just, like, gospel, yes, huge, uh, obviously. Like, like... It's 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 nuts. It's nuts. Like you didn't you didn't just steal their fucking like actual uh, human autonomy. You stole their uh, the the good parts of their culture. Fucking assholes. Sticky candy. Thanks for following. Lunos Nocturne. Did he really just great replacement for the music industry? Yes, he did. Yeah, black people doesn't just pop up. I agree. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm glad that Jerf thinks a big mama. That's good. The banjo is literally an African instrument. Hey, don't use your facts in my chat. Aside from that, this is actually a problem because black people dominate pop culture and rap music in particular just spams the N-word and white kids really like rap music. And so when they say that word, it's not because they're trying to be racist, it's because they're trying to participate in the popular culture. Again, framing this like it's the only time it's ever used by white people is so fucking dishonest. And... And yes, there's an aspect of white kids, again, just being ignorant. That's the whole point. White kids being ignorant and then using a word they don't understand in a way they don't understand. And we just make them understand at some point. That's not, that's not, white kids rapping and saying the the N-word in a song is not the racism that is like on the top of the bill with that we're trying to fight but it's definitely a symptom of racism it's it's just one of those things this is one of those things where you got we got to put it in check it's never going to go away you got to put it in check and this warrants the question should simply saying the n word just uttering it into the void should that result in your life being ruined no, it shouldn't. So let's talk about this girl again. So like four years ago, she gets her learner's permit. She's excited. She sends a video to her friend like, I can drive, N-word. And somehow this video ends up getting circulated around the school. This kid who looks like exactly the type of kid that would do something like this. Oh, Jesus Christ. This kid's fine. I mean, uh, uh, this kid this kid is not cool for doing, uh, 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 like... <laughs> Black teen defends getting classmate. Getting that. Yeah. See, I wouldn't have done that. I, 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 and I wouldn't, and I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, uh, <laughs> advocate for it. But I mean, like, what do you mean looks exactly like, what, what do you mean? Good looking? I, I don't know. <laughs> How is she using the slur? He just said it out loud. He just said it. It's not about, it's about intent. Yeah. Anyway. He saves the video, just waiting for an opportunity to release it to get her canceled. So fast forward to now. Oh, do you mean hard R or soft A? I don't know. During all the Black Lives Matter activity that stopped but, for some reason. But either way, that's not really the point, right? Either way, it's not good, right? Like that's kind of the point, and that's that's we, we have to address the ignorance, not seek just retribution. Right after the election, this girl's posting on social media in support of the protests. Yeah, Jimmy Galligan is a good-looking individual. I don't know why why he made uh, John made it a remark here. And this kid responds basically like, "Well, how dare you support the idea that Black Lives Matter if you said the N word once to a presumably white friend of yours?" And then he posts the video. Immediately, she gets canceled. She's disinvited from a university, which at the time was the national champion for cheer, which is something that she was going to participate in. Her life is totally screwed because she said the N word. Not that she called the black person the N word. Yeah, and then he waited four years which is the bad part. Not that she said it in front of black people, but that she said it in a private video to a friend of hers. And that's not why she should have been canceled. Oh, this is destiny as fuck right now. She should have been canceled because white women try to appropriate black vernacular because they think it's cool and it's f***ing cringe. That's why she should have been canceled. Why that's the same thing. She shouldn't have been canceled for either. She should have been educated. <laughs> ha! Like, you can cancel her at the time. You'd be like, dude, you're fucking... That is not okay. You know what I mean? Like, you could do it at the time. Be like, yo, fuck off. But, like, f literally intentionally holding on to it for four years to do that is, 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 not, is not okay. That's not, not, not ideal. White women listen to black women speak and go, ooh, hee hee, they talk funny. I want to try. Jesus need to Christ. Stop he's doing, he's doing, 
He's doing a lot of the the stuff right now. Ah, it do be like that sometimes. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm fun. I get to play too. And it's like, yeah, I'm glad she got expelled because she tried to co-op something that doesn't involve her and she made it cringe. But that being said, that's not why she was canceled. And so I'll still defend her. But the lesson to be learned is that you can never appease the mob. This girl followed the <sighs> trends on social media, probably due to social pressure, but still, it didn't matter. Someone still tried to ruin her because of a video that was made four years ago in which she said the N-word. And so nothing matters. Given that the mob will never back down and that you can never appease them, you may as well stand up to them because eventually they'll come for you too. And it just goes to show how much of a joke this country is, where the worst offense that you can commit is saying a word. No, it isn't. It isn't the worst offense you can commit. What are you talking about? She's not in prison. <laughs> I can't believe John is so wrong about this. He's making me defend the other kid. God. Oh. Look, the kid that posted Jimmy or whatever. If Jimmy was genuinely offended by that, and I, I, I'm going to presume benefit of the doubt here, and and say he probably was, he probably was uh, 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 offended. Okay, cool. The idea is that the offense is fine, the offense is warranted. Teaching the girl that she shouldn't do that is ideal, and what we should do. The bad part isn't any of the other shit John's talking about. The bad part is the vindictive nature in which it was take carried out and how and how just fucking unproductive that is. It's 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 just really really stupid. Yeah. And so you just you just I don't know. We've talked about it at, at nauseum at this point. <laughs> she was put to death. True. Not saying it to someone in hatred, just simply saying it. If you do that, the New York Times will publish a piece about you in which they implicitly celebrate the fact that you were canceled. And I'm going to get a lot of crap for just making this video. We're not even saying the word. We're just talking about it. But you can't even talk about it, let alone say it. If you simply say the word, it's like a cheat code. It's like activating the six star cheat code in GTA 4. Like, you're done. You're done. And speaking very frankly, we all know that it's not even that big of a deal. Like, I'm not talking about harassing someone. I'm not talking about calling someone a name. But you can literally have your life ruined for just saying the word now. Bales Buzz, thanks for going to the project. Uh, okay, so white people don't think it's a big deal from time to time. Uh, it's not a <laughs> look. It's not about levels of severity, because we can agree that the severity level of how that was displayed is low, but the problem is huge, and it exacerbates the problem. That's the big difference here. The problem of casually using racist language in white spaces is the problem that is being talked about. That's the that's the part that John just doesn't understand. He's just he doesn't understand that it's not saying the word. It's the context and the broad application of how many people it's normalized for. God. Uh Huh. Hoser for life. That's, <laughs> I don't know. What about what I said do you disagree with? <laughs> Did you just copy and paste that when you go to lefty spaces? Another smug intellectual. I am intellectual. Elitist. Arrogant, maybe. Progressive, more than that. Uh, that thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. I'm alone in this room. Uh, whom, if you disagree with, will call you an isterophobe. Uh, no, probably not. Do you have an actual disagreement or do you just say stuff? Like, what about what I just said, like, uh, bothered you? Like, it's, I'm literally saying that it wasn't good that this child was canceled. The impression I've gotten viewing some of your vids is all, if I'm wrong, my bad. Okay, let's have a conversation, hoser for life. Now you're in my spotlight. Oops. So I have agreed that this child should not have been canceled for something that she did in the past about four years. But I have also said that it makes sense and is valid for someone to be upset that, <laughs> that a racist term was used 
and it's and it's about the broader subject of casual racism in white spaces. Do you have any problem with what I just said there? No, I don't. I don't want to talk to him in Discord just yet. I need. I need to understand where you have disagreement with what I literally just said. Like, how? Wh wh what's the hoop you're gonna jump through to get to the point where you disagree with me? Because I think John Doyle agrees with me. I'm waiting. Did he just did he just leave or is he just slow? He was pretty fast tweet texting earlier. Why don't we ask Johan Doyle? Johan's too too pure for this world. Okay, cool. Still in chat when we look at it. You got my attention and then you bailed there we go i can't comment on the video you are watching since i just popped in your stream I was commenting on other vids i've seen okay so what you did was you popped in the stream without context and then just said you're a big ignorant fuck face and you're an elitist or something really bro wow jesus christ just fucking incredibly insecure over here. All right, Hoser for Life. If you find it that you disagree with something, bring it up. Uh, otherwise, just, just, I don't know. Like, stop, stop letting your brain make you say dumb shit. Like, when you're about to say dumb shit, you should, you should take a second, reread what you wrote, and then go, you know what? That's some dumb shit. I'm going to delete that because I'm dumb. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm pretty well known for being incredibly nuanced on takes. Like it's not just this fucking reactionary bullshit. Like, I don't know, man. If you get if you get you just say random elitist progressive shit and you just toe the line, then you are not paying attention and I will double down on this. You're a dumb dumb. Uh but stick around. I'll make you smarter. Also my community's fucking dope. And the reason for that is that it's a virtue signal. To get angry about the N-word being used in completely inconsequential circumstances is a virtue signal. No, it addresses a larger issue because the larger issue is, specifically, it's not a virtue signal. It can be, I guess, in some cases. Maybe. Probably not. I'm sure there's liberals that can find a way to virtue signal about this. The problem is, the big problem is, normalizing the use of the word in white spaces that's it it's not a good word and you might be like well why can't they say it in white spaces because if they normalize it in white spaces it's gonna pop out somewhere else and that causes harm and you might say words can't be harmful in which case we have to have a totally different discussion um there was like like, words are literally harmful. You can tell because they bother people. Um, and if you don't think feelings are things that you should uh, uh, have or, or think are valid, then you should go to therapy because, oh, my God, uh, you need it. You need it badly. Like, there are people that are, like, literally scared of their feelings, and that should not be a thing. Uh, Benny Gata, thanks for giving one to Thess. Appreciate it. Okay, yes, I agree with Jake on this point now that I can see what he's trying to say. I Did you agree, disagree earlier? I love disagreements. I love them. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Gotcha. Thanks, Matthew. Uh, if worms aren't harmful, then emotional abuse isn't real and really, really is. Right. It, it, if, if, if words can't be harmful, then, then uh, the I words uh, have nothing to talk about. Literally nothing to talk about. It's to say, what? You said the N-word? 
Urgh, I'm so passionate and convicted and educated and concerned about how bad that is. Urgh, I'm gonna ruin your life now. That's really like, that's all that is. That's why you'll never see anybody get mad about this without an audience, whether that's social media, whether that's a classroom, it doesn't matter. If you're a white person in a room with only one other person and that person happens to be black mm -hmm. and you're like rapping a song to yourself mm -hmm. and you happen to say the N word, nothing is going to happen to you. Worst case scenario, they're like, hey man, that's disrespectful. It's like he gets it without getting it. He like gets it without getting. It. Hey man, that's disrespectful. Y yeah, th that's the point. Yes. Yes. Do you not under you you like said it? It's like getting the math question right but not showing your work. Like John knows it's disrespectful intellectually, but he can't understand how that situation, someone was harmed. It's not punching someone in the face, but like, oh, <laughs> uh, nah, that's fine, crazy monkey. I get you. Uh, like, just so stupid. That's so stupid. God. But if you run that, Doyle literally cannot communicate anything without doing it through perspective of, the... so through the perspective of the grift. True. Monk ignoring me. I already forgot his name. Monk something? Monk? Something monk. <laughs> That's okay. Uh were you trying to were you trying to uh talk to him there? Wah, 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 wah. I don't know. Same scenario back in a crowd of people, you'll probably get beaten up because it's a virtue signal and it's an offense who Oh, Crazy Monk is outside. Oh, 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 Crazy Monk. Never mind. I thought, no, whatever that other guy's name was. No, Crazy Monk's cool. I like Crazy Monk. Whatever that other, I, I literally already forgot his name. I, th this is how fast that happens. Whose punishment is limited only by the extent to which the mob is willing to go. Find me an equal example where any response would be universally permitted. Find me an example where someone could just say something and the social media consensus would be that that person got what they deserved, whether that's just getting beat up or even getting killed. Wait, again, John is not talking to most lefties, right? Said Rob, thanks so much for the six months. Like most lefties agree with John in principle we just have different reasons John just doesn't like he uh, J John doesn't believe racism is a thing uh and 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 like people like me and Vosh who have watched this video and reacted to it uh just don't believe that retributive action is constructive he has no problem with retributive action uh specifically punitive action uh just punishment for the sake of it uh, John has no problem with that at all It doesn't exist. And the Jarhead's example actually makes more sense than the anti-racism example. Like it makes more sense to say, hey, you can't say the N-word because you're not a part of this rather than to say, well, you can't say the N-word because that's racist, right? But even then, none of that warrants violence. And how is that not hypocritical in the first place? Like for you to dominate the music industry in a predominantly white country and for you to produce music with those types of words in it, like are white people expected to consume that media differently than black people? We saw something. Yes. Yes. They, they. Sorry, they are, we are uh, expected to consume the, the media differently. Yes. We're, <laughs> the media that he's discussing here is, is like rap music and hip hop culture and all that stuff. Um, when I consume, say, say I listen to, to uh, my man, Bobby Fino, okay? Let's just go, I just, I'm going to go, I'm going to go here. Bobby Fino. We're gonna we're, look. He's 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 uh, uh, literally. Uh, we do a podcast together. He's very talented, and uh, if you listen to any of his lyrics, uh, it's it's likely you're going to hear that word, right? Um, I can I I, I, I know a several of them. I'm not gonna play it because it's gonna go on YouTube. But um, uh, by the way. You should check out Flamingo and Caval by Bobby Fino. New album coming in 2020. Uh, but uh, 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 I consume that differently. I am not from the culture that that Arian is from. We're friends. Uh, we talk regularly. He tried to call me during the stream. Like I literally had to text him. Uh, we 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 hang out on Sundays. We play D and D together. Like like we're, <laughs> we're 
we're we're very good friends. We there's explicitly there's no way I'm ever going to say that word and he says it in conversation with me all the time. It's because the context is different when it comes out of my mouth versus when it comes out of his mouth based purely on the fact that we are different people with different experiences. He John has talked about this already. He says it's not okay for people to say it. Okay. So how do you not understand how it could be harmful if I say it privately? Because it's going to it's going to bleed out. It bleeds out. Yeah, Terrence, it's a lot. It's a lot. And like this happened at a Kendrick Lamar concert. This girl was kicked off stage and booed for simply rapping the song. How is it not racist to say you can't say this word because you're white? And if you do, we're going to ruin your life and maybe hurt you. No one wants to hurt. I mean, not nobody, but not most people don't. How is that not the definition of racism? And even if we go with the new definition of racism, being prejudice and power instead of just prejudice, like let's not act like white people having more people that look like them in Congress means that they have more power. If you even think we said the N-word, you can beat the crap out of us and we'll end up refusing to press charges and apologizing to you. This girl said the N-word in a private video, someone saved it for years, and then in a matter of two days ruined her life. Yeah, but isn't that video right there where... I could be wrong here, but these are people using it at other people and saying racist shit. I mean, I mean, if you're racist to somebody, if you're saying, if you're calling somebody names like that, I mean, societally speaking, we have all agreed that there's some shit you don't say to people. Like... And, and if you do, there, there's a social cost. Sometimes that social cost comes at the end of a fist. Now, I have no problem if you get your ass beat and you want to say, okay, I'm pressing charges. But they're going to put into context the situation. It's not okay to beat somebody up from a legal standpoint. <laughs> Maybe an ethical standpoint even. But from a social emotional standpoint... We all agree there are situations where beating somebody up is is permitted. It's just a thing. I don't know why I don't know why conservatives fucking clutch their pearls about this shit all the time and then go on to you know celebrate the proud boys. You know what I mean? Like what the fuck? life with the support of thousands of people in the mainstream media. That's power. That's real power. Which means that if you're prejudiced towards white people by saying that they're not allowed to rap to the same music Then your duties as an American and punched a Nazi. Oh boy. Sick as you. And you've also got that type of power. Boom! You're the real racist. I have defeated you. Pack it up. White people can't be racist. It's impossible. It's impossible. Our countries are the most tolerant and accepting countries on the planet. We have the lowest in-group preference. We're just not racist. We <sighs> Did you know having just a little bit of racism isn't having racism? It's like having... It's like lighting lighting a fire in the living room. It's not the whole house. My house isn't on fire. It's just the couch. Like, yeah, John, if we don't address that, the rest of the house goes up. Like, what? We've been slowly... This is a great example. I'm super brilliant, okay? Um, uh, I said that specifically because that one guy got mad at me. Uh, it's literally like America is a house that we have been slowly putting the fire out of and trying to rebuild in a way that's more accommodating and less likely to start fires. And it's just like, we just have like like John Doyle's in there like with, with, with a flint and just like... And trying to start fires is like stop it you stop please we just don't have it in us and now even gay people they're trying to say well you can't say our slur if you're not gay too you can't which is just them yet again trying to capitalize on the momentum of black movements like are we really supposed to pretend what? that the plight of the homosexual has been equal to the plight of the black american in this country wait do gay people say that wait wait do gay people say that gays gays in chat do you think homophobia is the same as racism? Like, systemic racism? Like, I, I've never heard that in my life. I've literally never heard that in my life. 
Both things can be bad while one can be worse. What? <laughs> what? Like, John just needs to spend an afternoon or an evening in this Twitch channel watching Twitch chat. We can save John. No, we can't. He's trash. He's John. John is in, is in it for the. He has a monetary incentive not to listen. Uh, <laughs> no, but there's discourse about not saying the effort. Of course. I don't like my gay friends using it, and all of us have pretty much agreed it's not okay in our space. Um, but if, again, it depends on the space. It's about consent. I don't think black people often give consent to white people in general to say the word, and so it's probably not cool to do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing if you made a TikTok. You know what I mean? Yeah, queer isn't really a uh, much of a slur anymore. I guess it can be. It just depends on put stank on it. But usually, when I hear queer, it's like it's like just a descriptor to describe someone's experience. Like uh, I have a I'm living the queer experience. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, only to a select few, bro. I would be so uncomfortable. I would be so I would know. Yeah, I come. My dad was racist, and so it just it just really it just really makes me. I don't know. It's got it's got lived experience stank on it. You know what I'm saying? No, no, not even remotely close. But yeah, that's the take on that. Basically, the only reason anyone cares about the N word is to virtue signal. Ninety nine percent of the time, white people say it is just to try to emulate black culture, which is cringe, but not worthy of ruining their lives. Verbal self degradation is not empowering, and you will never appease the mob. But that being said, there is a solution to this. It's like in Fight Club when they erase the debt, everyone's back to zero, everyone's equal. We just need to everyone record a video of themselves saying the N word and post it online. It's the only wow. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there because I don't know what else he's gonna say, and I don't want to exacerbate it because that's fucking dog shit. Don't do that. That's a really bad thing. What what John just said is the baddest thing. Is not the not a good thing.